Well, it's springtime, and I think, uh, you know what's coming out? It's not yeah, Groundhog. it's bunny time. It's the Easter bunny. Yep, I always dressed up like a bunny. You know, I said, do you like to go hopping around your yard? Oh, yeah, I'd like I do. To see, I'd like to see him hop. I do. We color Easter eggs the whole nine yards, I'm telling you. Easter egg hunting? Oh, yeah, yeah. I send my kids on a scavenger hunt. Oh, man. So, but they all they keep coming back, don't they? They keep. They do. They come back. I don't know. They you always keep, solve the send, mystery. You don't send them far enough away. No, I should send them to Tescott or something. I know. They'll never come back from there. That's right. Well, hello. Well, welcome to your old news update. I'm Izzy Fitz. And I'm Bob Driscoll. And let's shout out to our sponsors. Let's do it. Eagle Crest Retirement Community. Wow. 1501 East Magnolia. Good place to retire. Headley's Clothing. 1829 South 9th and Smoky Hill Museum, 211 West. I am where history that's is right. made. That's right. We're going to top the headlines okay. from yesteryear. Get after it, right. Big well, April 6th, 1990. Can you believe it was just 25 years ago? This is a name who will live in infamy. Fred Felt Sr. of that yeah. Westboro Baptist Church promises to put an end to business as usual in the state government. Anyone who saw the Democratic candidate for gov puts Democrats a bad name yep. for Governor Bicycle into Slain in the Snow Thursday probably believes he means it. Unfortunately, he didn't get lost in the snowbank. Yep, but the fortunate thing is he gone. And he's not elected governor. He or gone. Dog catcher or he, that's or right. Whatever you'd like him to that's be. That's right. April seventh, nineteen sixty five. Dateline Topeka. Final consideration of the birth control pill now pending before the House Committee oh on God. Public Health is expected Wednesday. Ooh. The bill was introduced by the Senate by Frank, Senator Frank Hodge, Hodge, Republican from Hutchinson, mm -hmm. answering earlier charges that the bill would espouse immorality. The senator, pointing to rising welfare costs for the age-dependent children, declared, if there ever has been a subsidization of immorality, it is through the ADC. Ah, uh, yes, that, that ah, them immoral health. Very people. eloquent. Immoral health. Health is immoral. You used some big words there. I know. Well, he's yep. a senator. He can. He has a thesaurus. Thesaurus. Yes. Yeah, catharsis. Catharsis. Okay. Well, you know, we're going to go all the way back to. Are we going all the way back to 15? How'd you get a 1940 and I got a 1915? I don't know. You want me to do this one? Yeah. Go ahead and April do that April 10, 1940. Oh, wait, wait, I found it. I you found it. it? I found it. Oh, man, we're going to get... I'm firing my producer. That's right. We've got these mixed up. April 9th, 1965. A dry land version of surfing is leaving bruises in Salina. The city is swept by sidewalk surfing. Riders use a skateboard which resembles a miniature water ski with skate wheels affixed to the bottom. Hang ten, baby. The tricky Hang ten. little boards are sending Salinans to the hospitals in increasing numbers. One Salina hospital reported its emergency room has been treating one or two surfing casualties a week a day for the past two weeks. Oh man! So careful where you surf. That's right. Watch out for them. Now you can go to 1940. April 10, 1940. Not a world fair in one city, but a statewide fiesta was the way Paul Jones, chairman of the Kansas Coronado Commission, characterized the Quarto Centennial Celebration of 1941. In a brief address here today at the annual convention of the Kansas Restaurant Association, mm -hmm. that was a precursor of the Knife and Fork Club, wasn't it? No. I don't know. Quoting, what's the matter with Kansas? The editor of the Lions News said, there's nothing the matter with Kansas, but sometimes there are things wrong with the people in it. Hmm. Right now, they are failing to take advantage of their tourism opportunities. Well, they need to come and visit our town. I got two words, Boot Hill. Boot Hill. Well, and I've got some words. Listen to this from April 9th, 1915. From Topeka. Topeka. Boop, 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 boop. Topeka is about to lose its two police women after a new mayor takes over. Listen to this. Police work is not woman's work, no. declared J. House mayor-elect. The two police women will not be retained under my administration. There is work of a welfare nature for women to do, and I shall try to work out a plan of some, that, a plan of some kind. But no women on the police force for me. Too bad one of them women wasn't Annie Oakley. I know, and I'd, I'd be taking one of them clubs to him. And finally, 
125 years ago in the Salina Daily Daily Republican, Republican, which hasn't changed much. April 6th, 1890. The lady elected to the school board from our first wet ward is Mrs. Amelia Ann Allen, Mm. a small, bright woman of about 25 with a pleasing face, glossy dark hair, and eyes full of intelligence. She was schooled at Tillotson's Institute, an establishment supported by the American Missionary Society of Austin, Texas, on being congratulated upon being probably the first woman of her race. Not gender? sure. I, it must be gender. I don't the know. first woman to be elected to fill this Maybe. position, she replied that she was, quote, thinking only, only of the responsibilities. Well, as long as she doesn't become a policewoman, I guess. Oh, she's all right. I guess. I guess. Who knows? Well, read more about the way things used to be in the look back section of Monday's Salina Journal. That's right. And before we go, yes, we got a shout out. Shout out to my yeah. old acting teacher, wow. way back when. Somebody taught you to act. <coughs> well, she she tried. She tried. Well, that's a that's a heavy load to do. Uh, oh, another fat joke. Well, I didn't mean. Anyway, that. Gretchen Tibergen, we love you. He, you would love him. He's a really good actor in our community theater, and we'll uh, we called you Tigger Buns. Way back then, and I bet you're still just as much fun. Look at him. Happy 70th birthday. God bless you, and we hope to see you someday. Right. Until then, your acting buddy and I say, we'll see you yesterday.